right guys, today I am over at the Canton Center Mall. Now I've filmed this place plenty of times and there are a lot of videos on YouTube about this place. But what I wanted to do today was go around in here and take some pictures um, because I have an Instagram account that I've never posted anything on. I'll link it below if you guys wanna check it out and see what kind of pictures I take in here today. But I'm just gonna make a short video in here um, while I take these pictures. I love the lettering up here on this entrance. I'm really surprised that they actually still have this open over here. You can see this door is open in front of me here, so we're gonna be able to go in. But I wanna get a couple shots of this sign here first, this lettering up here. A couple cars in the way right there at the moment, so I can't back up far enough to get one of the shots I wanna get. So we'll get that on the way out. I always love coming in this place. I've said it a billion times, this was my mall when I was growing up. Used to come hang out here. This was one of the last stores that closed in here. Um, I can't think of what it was called right now, but it was like a sporting goods type store, sports clothes and that. I've always loved the big windows over here at the side. I know I definitely want to get a shot of these doors down here. I love the way those look standing right here, how the light comes in on the tiles up here. It looks so cool. Okay, look at this, guys. I have one of these trash cans in my basement because they threw it away a long time ago. So I was able to get one, but I like this. They put this on whenever they outlawed smoking indoors. That used to be the ashtray. <laughs> All these leaves in this little thing here, this planter, that's where the trees used to be throughout the mall in each of these planters. These are actually leaves from those trees. They never cleaned out the leaves. You can even still see the tree stump where they cut it off. This is another thing I love about this place, the hot Sam. You can actually go behind here still. Look, they got the old Pepsi logos on the stickers there. This is where they used to work. If you worked at Hot Sam back in a day, this was your view while everybody passed by shopping. Wash your hands, make a pretzel. Can I help you, sir? Or are you just looking? <laughs> oh my God, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Look at the floors in this one, guys, just buckling. I think this was like some kind of a beauty shop or something. This guys, I'm taking pictures inside the old uh, fountain here because I love how if you just poke around a little bit, you see people's wishes. Those are all left. There's pennies all around this thing. But look, I thought this was funny. Over here, somebody tossed a dime in and probably made a wish. So we're gonna leave it here. May your wish come true. Look, this is old neon up here around this, uh, I assume it's a speaker, but I can't tell. But that's green neon up there. I love how the neon is still up on the added touch. And if you look behind the counter here, they still have the neon ear piercing sign. How many of us got our ears pierced right here back in the day? <laughs> All right, guys, so down on this end, I've pointed this out before, but Back through this wall here is actually the rest of the mall that heads down towards Macy's, and it's actually pretty destroyed back there. You can't get in there to see it, but it's like moldy, and the old KB Toys is just flooded. The ceiling has fallen in. It's, it's destroyed. I've been in there before taking pictures, but it was before I was filming for YouTube. Um, Anthony from Ace's Adventures did get back in there and make a video of it, so um, that one is on YouTube here if you want to check that out. 
pretty amazing back there. Okay, look at this, guys. This entrance around the side here, this one that's like falling apart up here, they have the doors boarded up now. Sometimes they have this open, but look at what they did here. They put like a fencing up here, like chicken wire, so that when they have it open, you can't come in here and climb this wall. Look at all that water damage. It is horrible back on that end. Seeing right back through this little cove here, you can see in a little bit down this hall because of the skylight. But over here is where it's really, really bad. Look at this. Look, I would be scared to go through that door. Oh my God. And the only store still open is this Penny's right here. The doors right here are always open, and I think it's because this is considered a, a fire escape to come through here to get through the mall, you know, if you need to get out any other way. If it weren't for that, I don't think we would even be able to come in this part of the mall to walk around. But I, for one, am glad that we can. You know, it's, it's always fun to come in here and kind of reminisce. I was just talking to a guy who was in here, and we were talking about, like, the movie theater and, and uh, the old Montgomery wards and Woolworths down here. You know, it's, I don't know what a lot of these spaces were. I just don't remember, but some of them you can tell. I mean, Diamond Company over here, and you got Spencer's Gifts over here. I know Woolworths was somewhere down this hall. I don't think it was this space here, but I think it was maybe the next one over. I just don't remember. It's, it's hard once you come in here and you see it like this to, uh, to get your mindset back in what it looked like before. So I think I got a good amount of shots from in here. I'm going to take off, get some shots from outside, but make sure you go over to the Instagram, check out the pictures that I took. I don't proclaim to be a wonderful photographer, but, uh, but I have wanted to take some pictures of these places for a long time, you know, instead of just filming them. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe, leave me a thumbs up and a comment below, and I'll see you later. Peace.